The heat, yeah, it can be also dangerous. So yeah. we want to make sure that you're aware of the signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Yeah, if you spend too much time out in the sun playing pickleball, you could come down with symptoms of heat exhaustion. So let's continue our team coverage. We have Crop Force Tiffany Justice in the newsroom with a look at what we all need to be aware of, not only in ourselves, Tiffany, but in those around us too, because if they start to suffer, we got to jump in. Absolutely. Yes, for anybody going outside over the next few days, the CDC is asking people to be mindful of the signs of heat relief related illnesses like heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Now for heat exhaustion, the warning signs include feeling dizzy, extremely thirsty or nauseous. Ex experts say if you experience those symptoms, you should move to a cooler area, sip some cool water and seek medical attention if those symptoms don't improve. Now for heat stroke, if you start feeling confused or even dizzy or even become unconscious, have someone call 911 for you. We spoke with a baby area doctor about who's most at risk during periods of extreme heat. Particularly affects uh, the very young infants and the elderly and particularly people with other health problems such as congestive heart failure, asthma, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now officials say heat cramps are usually the first sign of heat related illnesses. Those are painful muscle cramps and spasms usually in the legs or abdomen. Reporting in the newsroom, Tiffany Justice back to you.